Sri Lanka is an island nation in South Asia. It is a small country with an ancient culture and civilization, the chronicle and recorded history of two and a half millennia. From very early times, Sri Lanka was well known for spices and gems. It had established trade and cultural relations with many ancient civilizations in South Asia and Europe. Throughout history, it has been known by different names. Greeks called it Taprobane. The Arabs called it Serendib, from which the English word Serendipity derived. Portuguese called it Seilao, Dutch called it Ceylon and the British called it Ceylon. Sri Lanka is the ancient name meaning the resplendent island. The Greek astronomer Ptolemy, who is regarded as the father of modern geography, compiled this map of Sri Lanka in the second century AD, which he called Taprobane. This map was of such accuracy that it remained in use for over 16 centuries. This is a modern map of Sri Lanka. We first visit Anuradhapura. Anuradhapura was the ancient capital of Sri Lanka. It has now been declared a World Heritage Site by the United Nations Cultural Organization. Anuradhapura was founded in 500 BC. It is acclaimed as the greatest monastic city of the ancient world and has served as the royal capital of 113 kings over one and a half millennium. This is Mehintale in close proximity to Anuradhapura. It is regarded as the cradle of Buddhist civilization in Sri Lanka. Buddhism was introduced to Sri Lanka in the 3rd century BC. Asoka, the great Indian emperor, after he became a Buddhist, sent several missionaries abroad. Apostle Mahinda, who was Emperor Asoka's own son, who had ordained as a Buddhist monk, brought Buddhism to Sri Lanka. It was here at Mihintale that the Apostle Mahinda first met the Sri Lankan king Devanampiyatissa on a full moon day in the month of June in 300 BC and officially introduced Buddhism to Sri Lanka. Mahinda is said to have posed a riddle to the king to test his capacity for instruction. Pointing to a tree close by, the venerable Mahinda asked the king for its name. The king replied that it was a mango tree. Are there any other mango trees besides this one? asked Mahinda. There are many other mango trees, replied the king. And are there any other trees besides this mango tree and other mango trees? 
There are many other trees, replied the king. Besides the other mango trees and those trees which are not mango, are there any other trees? Yes, replied the king, there is this mango tree. Thou has a shrewd wit, O king, said Venerable Mahind. The spot where this Socrates-like dialogue took place is marked by a rock slab. Apostle Mahinda resided at Mahintale since the royal city of Anuradhapura was unsuitable for monastic life. The king built 68 rock caves or cells at Mahintale for Mahinda and his retinue. A stairway with 1,840 steps made of granite slabs leading to the summit was built. During the Posong season, that is the full moon in June, thousands of lay devotees and monks ascend Mihintale to pay their respects to Apostle Mahinda, whose relics are enshrined in the stupa. During Poson, the Mahintale stupa is very well lit and illuminated with thousands of lights. This is Stupa Rama. Stupa Rama is the oldest Dagaba or stupa on the island. The commonly used English term for stupa or Dagaba is pagoda, which in fact is derived from the word Dagaba. It is recorded that the right collarbone of Lord Buddha is enshrined here. It was built in the third century before Christ by King Devanam Pietis. This is Sri Mahabodhi or the sacred bow tree in Anuradhapura. This Bodhi tree is a sapling of the Bodhi tree that was in Buddha Gaya, India, under which Buddha attained enlightenment. It was brought to Sri Lanka in the 2nd century BC by Venerable Sangamitta, the daughter of King Asoka and sister of Mahinda. She had ordained as a Buddhist nun. The golden railing around the Bodhi tree is visible in the rear. This Bodhi tree is over 2,200 years old and is the oldest historically documented, documented tree in the world. This is Ruan Valley Sayam. This great stupa was built by King Dutugamanu in the 2nd century BC. It is a dhagaba consisting of a dome topped with a pinnacle standing on a square base. Within the dome is a chamber containing sacred relics of the Buddha. Ruan Valley Saya is a huge monument measuring 335 feet in height with a circumference of 942 feet. The premises cover five acres of land. It is mentioned in the Mahavansa, the great chronicle, that Buddhist delegates not only from several states in North India, but also from Iran and Afghanistan and Alexandria in Greece attended the inauguration of this Dagaba in the 2nd century BC. It is also recorded that in the 1st century AD, King Bhatika Tissa Abhaya sent an emissary to Rome and obtained corals to adorn this stupa.